It's Miley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Saturday, September 28th. Okay, so we have the moon in Leo energy here pretty much all day. Um, we will see the moon go void, of course, at 11.37 p.m., again, Eastern Standard Time. We will be shifting into Virgo energy 5.43 a.m., on the morning of the 29th. So that's a pretty huge chunk of time that the moon will be void. And of course, when the moon is void, things are shaky and unstable and uncertain and we're second guessing and we're doubting and we're insecure. So of course that doesn't feel so good. And because we're in Libra season and we're hella indecisive anyways, and because we're flip-flopping back and forth and back and forth on what we should do and what we want to do and what we know we have to do and everything of the sort, it is definitely going to be an interesting dynamic to wake up to early Sunday morning, especially seeing as when the moon shifts into Virgo energy, there's going to be a little bit of a recap, if you will, on what Virgo season was all about. And as you know, many of us had a hard time through Virgo season, not only because Mercury was retrograde for most of it, not only because, again, we kind of got thrown into the eclipse energies, but that Virgo energy and Earth energy had us very present in the physical body, in the physical form, very aware of what was not working in order for us to come up with solutions on how to improve certain areas of our lives. And so emotionally speaking, we're going to want to create order to a lot of the craziness, a lot of the chaos that has been bouncing around in our inner realm between our heart and our head we're going to want to kind of get organized in our physical realm as well but again in libra season in eclipse energy in this equinox energy we're going to have a hard time doing so okay so with that being said there are nine different aspects popping off here today eight of them are going to involve the moon the moon in this Leo energy going to semi-square Mercury. So Mercury is the ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we kind of express ourselves, our thoughts, our opinions, our ideas out into the world. And of course, we are just fresh in this Libra energy. Mercury just shifted into Libra on the 26th. If you haven't listened to that Astro Forecast, I'm going to recommend you do so. Bust out your Libra season e-guide. Capture a lot of the topics and themes that are going on in your life at this particular juncture, especially where relationship dynamics are concerned. We had some interesting pop-offs with this eclipse energy that, of course, is bringing soul contracts up for renewal, up for termination, up for initiation, and some particular instances. We have a lot going on. We're trying to see both sides of the coin, but again, we're hella indecisive, and so we're on the fence about the action, the plan, the strategy to actually express ourselves, actually be seen, be heard, because again, we don't want to be the bad guy here. So we're biting our tongue. We're trying to keep a lot of things to ourselves until we have a correct, let's call it path of execution, kind of laid out, mapped out in our headspace. So the moon being our heart space, Mercury being our headspace, they're not on the same page. The moon in Leo energy, again, wants to be bold and brave and courageous in our expression, in getting some things off of our chest. But again, the mercurial Libra energy is like, uh-uh, no, 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 we're not tipping the scales yet. We're not rocking the boat. We have to, you know, just keep everything light and fluffy. We have to just smile. Let's, let's just pretend that everything is fine. So, of course, that doesn't feel good because it's very inauthentic. And, of course, the whole point of this new version of self aligning with our higher selves is to operate in our authentic self, our authentic vibration and frequency, but we're just not there yet. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, doing the shadow work here in the Scorpio energy is going to make a very harsh interaction with the North Node in Aries energy. And of course, this North Node trying to get us on the right path, especially to be more independent in order for us to get to know thyself, in order for us to identify the wants, needs, and desires that we now have to kind of pursue out into the world. It is a very tricky situation and circumstance. Again, Venus being the ruler over this Libra season, very focused on relationship dynamics. But guess what? We just unearthed a lot of information, a lot of truths that aren't sitting so well, that are putting us in a situation where we don't feel the same, where we're having a major pivot point in our heart space. 
And with this not so nice alignment with the North Node, it's really putting us in a situation where we don't know how to move on. We don't know how to move forward. We don't know how to make peace with the situation and the circumstance that we're currently facing. And because of that, we're feeling hella insecure. We're feeling very unstable in our heart space, a lot of heart activations as of late, because we have to unpack where it is that we've been carrying a lot of weight in our heart space, especially from past situations and circumstances that essentially speaking are altering the way that we're currently looking at our current relationship dynamics, what we need to be doing for ourselves, the truth that we are now sitting in, we're still trying to process it, if you will, but we have no clue on how to smooth things over on how to compromise on how to negotiate on how to solve some of the issues that are currently in our faces. The moon is then going to semi square creating a little bit of tension and conflict with the sun. The sun is shining very bright in this Libra energy, of course, trying to show us where it is that the scales are very out of whack, very unbalanced in certain areas of our lives. Anytime that the moon and the sun are coming together, there's going to be an aha moment an emotional awareness of what we want, what we need, what we desire. Well, here's the thing. The moon in Leo energy wants to be honest, wants to be fully expressive, wants to be bold and brave and courageous enough to boss up and kind of declare where it is that our heart is currently at. Problem is, is that again, we don't want to rock the boat. We don't want to poke the bear. The sun shining very, very brightly in this Libra energy is like, okay, let's stay in the shallow end. Let's make sure that we're biting our tongue until we have a full plan together on what, you know, truly expressing our thoughts, our ideas, our feelings. That's going to have some consequences. That's going to have some repercussions. And until we know the plan to move on, to move forward, we should just keep our mouth shut. And so that doesn't feel so good. And there is going to be this back and forth between our heart and our head. Of course, Leo energy, the heart space, where the moon is at, and Libra energy, the head space that the sun is at. And so again, tension and conflict, because one part of us just wants to come out with it and kind of get this party started, so to speak. The other part of us is like, uh, uh, we haven't planned for this party. We don't have all the ducks in the row. Let's keep our mouth shut. The moon in this Leo energy going to sextile beautiful interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, blessings, who of course is in Gemini energy. We love Leo and Gemini energy working together because it's fire and air and that gives us creative sparks, gives us a new, let's call it inspiration, motivation, a new vision, a new goal. We are definitely more open to kind of gaining the information, gaining the insight as painful as it may be at times, because we want to be well informed about the options, about the opportunities that we currently have on our plate. And so we may be in a situation where we have to do some exploration, we have to do some research, we have to do some digging, if you will, we're challenging ourselves to see things from a different lens, different perspective, if you will, and we are open minded enough, open hearted enough to at least try to put ourselves in other people's shoes. Now, is that going to mean major epiphanies where we back down and we no longer want to fully express ourselves? Probably not. But it's going to put ourselves in a situation situation to at least be a little bit more open, a little bit more well informed than we have been in the recent days. The moon is then going to make an awkward interaction with that north node. So again, we don't know how to move on. We don't know where we're going. We don't know where we're growing. We don't know where we're evolving. We just know that there's a jitteriness. There is a energy building in our heart space where we just want to kind of roar. We want to scream. Again, Leo energy ruled over by the lion. We have a lot of restlessness, a lot of discontentment. We are in eclipse season. We're not seeing things clearly. We do not have all the information available to us at this point. And so we're not really in a situation to initiate anything new, to be fully expressive because we don't know what that path leads to. And so until we can kind of gain a little bit more insight, a little bit more information, a little bit more details until we know where the options, the opportunities for growth are actually being presented to us, we are kind of, again, inner processing, we're trying to come to some sort of realization, some sort of agreement on how it is that we are going to be operating for the I'm going to call it 
you know, foreseeable future until we reach this pivot point where we feel supported by the universe to be this straightforward forthcoming with our thoughts, with our ideas, with where the change needs to take place. The moon in Leo then going to try and beautiful interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer who is retrograde in Aries energy. This is us trying to build ourselves up. This is us trying to reassure ourselves that this new version of self has more power and control over our mental plane, over our emotions, over our actions than ever before. We realize that there is a storm brewing within us. We are in eclipse season again, reminder. Uh, there is this impulsivity building. There is this tension, this conflict building. We don't know what we're doing as of yet, but we also know that this new version of self who is very connected to the higher self just is reassuring us to breathe. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. Let's have a little bit more patience. Let's see how things are going to unfold. We are open to learning. We are open to researching. We are open to receiving the information as it is not for the way that we wished it would be. And that in turn is going to help us identify the issues and put us in a situation to tackle them head on. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Neptune, who, of course, is retrograde in Pisces energy, is rulership. This is a little bit of a reminder, again, to kind of move inward, to align with our higher selves, to remind us that guess what? We may not make sense of things right now. We may not know where we're going. We may not know where we're growing. We may not know when the pivot point is actually going to present itself. But as long as we trust ourselves, we trust the cosmos, we trust the universe, and we understand that nothing is happening to us, everything is happening for us, then we are going to be a little bit calmer, a little bit more peaceful in our inner realm. Because again, the futuristic goal, the vision, the dream, although it is providing us with hopes and wishes in order for us to kind of orient to where it is that major changes need to be made. It's also very calming to know that, again, we don't have to know every step. We don't need to know all the details. We just have to kind of set our intention on where it is that we would like to end up and leave the details to the cosmos. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, again, in the Scorpio energy, doing a deep dive in her heart space, in her emotions to identify her deepest, darkest desires, and equally, the deeper, darker fears, doubts, insecurities that are preventing her from actually moving on. The moon and Venus interacting in this way is going to lead us to realize where it is that we're very passionate about kind of expressing ourselves, kind of making sure that we're not falling victim to same past patterns and behaviors. We're starting to get a little bit fired up about our wants, needs and desires. Again, we are in a particular point where the whole world within us is changing, even though the world outside of us seems kind of on pause or stagnant. There is a whole realization of wants, needs, and desires that we are piecing together within us. And from that, we are starting to realize where we have to take action and make moves, make a major transformation in our lives in order to usher in the safety, security, stability, the happiness, the joy that we're now identifying we want more of. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in this Leo energy, getting into the boxing ring, squaring off with Uranus, the great awakener who is retrograde in Taurus energy. Now, the square kind of highlights where we're going through a growing pain. It is tension filled. It is conflict filled because we're at war with ourselves. And maybe you're at war with other people, too. But it all stems from the inner dynamics that, of course, get mirrored in our external realm. Normally, where Uranus is concerned, there would be an aha moment, there would be a little bit of clarity, there would be some insight that is going to help us kind of wrap our head around what we have to let go of what we have to bring a closure to in order for us to initiate a new path, a new chapter, a new direction in our physical realms. Again, Uranus being retrograde in this Taurus energy is supposed to be highlighting for us where it is that we're overly attached to connected to intertwined with what it is that we've already built, we've already brought to life, we've already created. But again, we're bored with that. The new version of self wants a little bit more for ourselves than what it is that our old version of self had built and created. But there's this hesitation, there's this resistance to actually letting it go to actually detaching from it, actually closing the door on it, 
until something better arrives in the place of the things that we know that we have to close the door upon. And so a square is going to highlight for us where it is that emotionally speaking, the Leo energy has us in this situation where we're bold, we're brave, we're courageous. We want to be expressive on what it is that we want to do, what it is that we want to pursue. But mentally speaking, emotionally speaking, we're not prepared to be that forthcoming. Why? Well, because a lot of the truth that many of us are harboring within ourselves, when that truth is spoken, when we have the heart to heart conversations, when we declare our thoughts, our ideas, our emotions about a situation and a circumstance, you best believe there's going to be repercussions. We are not prepared for that repercussion as of yet. We are not seeing things clearly. We do not have all the information. We are in eclipse season. We are about to move into the second eclipse event that is definitely going to, again, tip those scales out of balance once again in order for us to figure out how to bring them back into balance. We are not there yet. So emotionally speaking, we're as confused as ever. We're having a hard time containing our truth. We're having a hard time taming the ants in our pants. We're having a hard time seeing where the forest is is actually existing past that one tree. And so at this particular juncture, there's going to be a lot of, I'm going to call it realizations on where it is that we feel blocked. We feel trapped. We feel like the universe has put us on pause.